Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight I'm going to take a look at the couple surprises we had from Kensington Palace this weekend, namely Catherine's appearance at Eurovision and the short film they released behind the scenes for the Coronation Weekend. But first, I want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all my beautiful Rogues on their day. That is, without a doubt, the most beautiful manifestation of love. Then let's move on to some memes. By the way, I, I had to take yesterday off trying to go easy on my energy and workflow and decided to fool around a bit on Twitter. And precisely from that short film released by the Prince and Princess of Wales, I saw this behind the scenes screenshot of Prince William. That's the moment I told myself, when I finally buy my castle, I will dress like this every bloody day. I'm, I'm serious. And that's why I took some time to update my vision board. For those of you that don't know, a vision board is sort of a catalog that you make of all the things that you want to manifest in your life. And not only material things, it can also be some personal achievement or a personal milestone or goal. You make sure to get yourself pictures of it. That's why I look for a picture of one of my favorite castles, Hohenzollern in Germany, and, well, picture myself the way I would dress to read the newspaper in the mornings. But, well, coming back to our royal business, let's talk about Catherine's surprise. It was filmed at Windsor's Crimson Drawing Room, and the setting was the perfect contrast for Catherine's blue dress. And no, I'm not going to take the bait and address all the crazy stuff it's been said about her dress and her hairstyle on the internet, comparing her to the one who shall not be named. Not going to do that today. What I'm going to mention is that this is the kind of content that fans of the royal family desperately want. I would not call these baby steps. These are huge steps in the right direction. And you know I have never had qualms in telling things like they are. Now, the mini-movie. It's safe to say that this is perhaps the best content that we have seen from the royal family like ever. Now, I, I don't mean that all the royal engagements, all the interviews and public appearances don't count. It's more like this is different. Uh, as I was mentioning from Catherine's surprise appearance, it's like William and Catherine have already realized what means to make the royal family to the next step in terms of public relations and brand image. And yes, I will also address the fact that this short film is specifically focused on the Wales family, not the king and queen. And there is a reason for that, which I will try to make an educated guess in a minute. Because I want to talk about this not only as a royal commentator, but also as a videographer and have an experience in public relations. First of all, they went for top talent for the job. This was not made by their staff inside Kensington Palace. They outsourced this project to a seasoned videographer based on London named Will War. I was looking at War's work and I have to say, nothing short of amazing eye for aesthetics, production quality, editing pace, lighting, well, the whole enchilada. He even works with sound engineering and music production himself, so you're looking at the result of an awesome talent stack. But at the same time, there are details that perhaps you did not notice in this video, especially the planning. You can see a series of angles and takes and footage from virtually every corner of London throughout that weekend, from the public arriving early to the inside of William and Catherine's residence. Uh, you're crafting a story in three acts, but doing this takes a ton of planning to get all the takes you need so you can have such dynamic editing. The shooting of this must have been planned weeks in advance, but I would not be surprised that this could be have been planned months in advance. Uh, yes, because uh, this is way more than just one guy with a camera. And I mention all this not only because uh, videography is uh, one of my passions, but it is a sign of how important uh, these kind of productions are for the Prince and Princess of Wales. But there's a problem. 
I saw many accounts on Twitter claiming that this was some kind of narcissistic project, that this was unnecessarily focused on the Wales family and literally left the king and queen in just a couple shots, like they were trying to upstage the heads of the monarchy. I'm going to tell you my opinion about what do I think is really happening in here. Even if this short film was created focusing almost exclusively on the prince and princess of Wales and their, their children, I am 100% confident that this was done in close collaboration with King Charles and Queen Camilla. Why? Because we are all quite aware of King Charles' intention of not only to keep a small cycle of working royals, which is going to be a challenge in itself, but also set the monarchy for the future. And that's when, regardless you want a small circle of working royals, you want well-defined brand images. On one side, the king and the queen, and the other side, the prince and princess of Wales. Separated only in terms of brand image, they couldn't be closer in their goals and efforts to take the royal family into the future. But it's like when you are watching a heist movie and you have a motley crew of specialists and every single one of them has a unique ability. It's exactly the same here. It's no wonder that Charles and Camilla represent the tradition. They are the heads of the monarchy. But I'm sure Charles knows the importance of William and Catherine's mojo for this project. And that's why this kind of productions work wonders with them. This is not a competition. This is a well-planned collaboration. And I would not be surprised that uh, this was discussed even when Queen Elizabeth was still alive. It will make sense because uh, you just had to look at the polls to know how popular have William and Catherine been all the time. That's something that you literally have to use. You have the power, use it. And that's why this short film was focused mainly on them and the perfect explanation as to why the king and the queen are barely featured. This reminds me about a lesson that is timeless. It's important to act, to be brave, to be courageous and go for it as soon as you can. And yes, planning should be an important part of it. Only that sometimes... Things don't go according to plan and you have to improvise. Now, the only way things can go wrong when we improvise is that we don't know where are we going. We are not sure what is our goal. That's why planning could be important. But if circumstances change, if you don't know where you are going, then any improvisation, any effort will be useless. So far, the royal family has shown that they know where are they going. Sometimes they don't do things as fast as we would like, or they don't do the things we would like them to do, or they don't react the way that we wish they had. But in these terms and their intention of showing a fresh angle of the royal family with high quality content, this shows they are on the right track. I would like to know what you think about this in the comments. My wonderful 118,000 royal rogues Plus the half a million who haven't subscribed yet. I love you all. Remember to like this video and the two most important words. Much love and bliss.